Let's go and take a look at the next example. On this next example, again, we've already done the first step. The first step, Jason, as I mentioned, is to graph the parent graph, which in this case was y equals 3 to the x. Now I need to understand what these transformations are. And I chose the, a, the h again because it's so common with students to forget that it's opposite of h, uh, Tira. So therefore, we know we're going to shift two units right. Then we also know that a is, we have a negative 1. Our a is less than 0. So we're going to reflect the graph over the x-axis. So reflect x-axis. All right. So we're shifting the graph two units to the left and we're reflecting over the x-axis. Well, since I've already created a table to learn to graph this, all I'm going to do is take the points, shift them over two, and then reflect them over the x-axis. Shift over two, reflect over the x-axis. OK? So all I'm doing is taking these points, shifting them left one, and reflecting them over the x-axis. Now. Since I'm not shifting up or down, the axis is, or the horizontal as, or I'm sorry, horizontal asymptote is not going to change. The only thing that's being changed now is I'm just the graph is being shifted one unit. I'm sorry, two units to the right and down. So two units and down. Two units left. Oh, I'm sorry, two units to the right. Well. I said two units to the right. I just didn't do two units to the right, right? So each point should be shifted two units to the right and then reflected over the x-axis. So it looks something like this. Okay. All you're basically doing is taking all those points, shifting them two units to the right, and then reflecting them over the x-axis. <laughs> 